Stability ball strength. Red section. We're wearing red. Andres is here again. He's going to help us out. You're going to exercise with Andres and get strong. Uh, so the first one is a plank push-up ball against the wall. So we're going to see uh, Andres get that. He's going to put the ball against the wall. And that's going to stabilize the ball for us. He gets a nice plank. His hands are kind of on the downstream side. And he's going to do... Uh, Remember, folks, eight's our number. We're going to be doing 12 today. We're going to see if we can knock out 12 reps of a lot of this stuff because when we get strength, we also want hypertrophy, and that means to get bigger. So we're going to get stronger and bigger. You can stop at eight, but feel free to go to 12. We're only going to show one set, but feel free to use uh, this video again, this segment, and do two more sets. So you can have three sets of 12 if you really want to go for that hypertrophy. Feeling all right? Yeah. Okay, look good. Freestanding plank push-ups. So the ball is not against the wall, folks. It's there in free space on the floor. And Andres is going to get into that push-up position again. And we're going to kind of see him going into camera here as he tries to stabilize, and he's going to give us 12. And see those arms shake? And that's a good thing. We are really working that core. We are working those deep stabilizer strength muscles of the shoulders and the shoulders and the chest. How you doing there, Andres? Can you talk at all? Barely. Barely. Good. It's hard, folks. It should be hard. 12 should be really hard on this. And again, if you do two or three sets of 12, for you beasts that are going for hypertrophy, well, good luck with that. Nice. Name writing. All right, we're going to get into a uh, plank on our forearms. And Andres, he's going to write his first and last name in script in the regular direction from left to right. Okay, here we go, Andres, go ahead. And write your name in script. And it's your first and last name, folks. If you have a really long first and last name, well, it's going to be a good exercise for you. Okay. Are you on your last name yet? All right. So he's working his last name here. And then, okay, folks, when we get ready, when you finish writing in script your first and last name, you're going to write it backwards, going from right to left in the opposite direction. And so your brain's got to work. You got to figure that out. All the while, your core's really working. And you got it all? Each direction? Oh, no. I'm gonna... Oh, he didn't do the other direction. direction. Oh, excellent. Excellent. He only did one direction. That was his first and last name in one direction. Good, excellent. He needed a little break in there. You can take a little break too, but jump right back into it. And now we're writing from right to left. Last name backwards, first name backwards, still in script. So have your brain figure that out. And as you try to figure that out, we're doing some nice neural, um, you know, little game here with your neural networks and your brain and your body and with your muscles. You okay in there? Keep on breathing. You're going to want to hold your breath, but don't, don't hold your breath. Keep on breathing through it. And it should be a great core workout. All right, that looked great. Name writing. Side sit-ups. So Andres is going to uh, put the ball under his hip, under his right hip. He just touched it right there. So your body's going to drape over the ball. It's got to drape over the ball. His top leg is forward. His back leg is way back there. He's got a good base of support, and he can use his feet to anchor himself. And then he's using that bottom arm as a little bit of a kickstand just to get himself activated for the first four of our 12. And he's trying to really contract and get up using those obliques, pretty much obliques only. There, you're really getting some good elevation there as he lifts himself up. So now I don't want him to use that bottom hand and just try to use for the last eight here. And that's five. 
Six, the body just drapes over the ball. Seven. Eight. And you can stop right there, folks, but if you want, keep on going for your 12. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Excellent. Okay. So we're just going to watch uh, Andres uh, change positions. And the other side is going to be nice and fresh. Again, I like the uh, top leg forward and the bottom leg back. And it could be the other way around. But he's going to get himself in position here. He's going to get that hip right on top of the ball. So he drapes his torso over the ball. There we have it. And now we can see his back foot and his front foot there. Good anchored base of support. Remember the first four, he's using that bottom hand as a little bit of a kickstand to help him. But now he's going to try to do it in free space and trying to really lift and get elevation with his torso. And you got four more, right, Andres? Yeah, four more for 12. So let's count it down for four. Three. Two. One. Side sit-ups. Reverse sit-ups. So Andres is going to point to that low anchor right there, and he's going to grab that with his fingers to kind of anchor him. He's going to get on his back. He's going to put the ball between his feet. And they're going to be right up straight overhead. So they're going to be right up straight overhead. There, that's our starting position, folks. So I'm going to have uh, Andres just do four where the ball goes back towards the wall. So this is the regressed version, folks. And that's three. We'll just do four. But that's not the real exercise. We want Andres to have that ball go straight up in the air, okay? So for 12, Andres, you're going to try to lift your sacrum. There we go. And just go drive it straight up in the air. And that's for three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and last four, and it's four, three, two, one, and you're good, folks. That's your set of 12. One leg, glute bridge, pulses. Here we go. Start with both heels on the top of the ball. Andres is going to come up into a reverse plank. Boom, got it. He's going to draw his heels in towards his buttocks. Feels like he's standing on the ball. Now he's going to take one leg off the ball and point it right towards the ceiling as he drives his hips up towards the ceiling. He's going to now pulse. Two, three, four, five, six is halfway. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Come on down, Andres. Give it a rest. That's a lot of load on one ham, folks. And if you need to uh, keep both um, heels on the ball, feel free. Go back in our earlier sections and get stronger because this is going to put a big load. Now, other leg. Here we go. Heels on the ball. Draws feet in. Feels like he's standing on the ball. His hips have, have driven towards the ceiling. And now he's going to point that toe towards the ceiling, make it look nice and pretty. And that's three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You got it. Come on down. Relax. Good job. One leg, glute, bridge, circles. Here we go. We're going to get into it the same way. Both heels on the ball. Come on up. Reverse plank. Boom, draw the heels in towards the buttocks. Drive the hips up towards the ceiling. Pick up one leg. And now he's going to do the big circles out towards camera. He's going to come through center again. Go across his middle. 
and then come up through top again. And then he comes out towards camera and he goes through the middle. And he's going to cross the middle, cross the center line of his body best he can. He's going to come up and around. Two, we'll just do four of these, folks. And with this three coming up, Andres, should be pretty hard. And we got one last one round, folks. You can see that left leg, he's losing that strength. He's losing that strength in that. And he's lost that strength in that. So four is about the right number for him right there. If you want to do six or eight or 12, you feel fine to go ahead. It's your call. Don't blow out a ham. All right, he's resting. He's going to draw the heels in. Boom. Drive the hips up. Put a foot up. Point the toe. Make it look nice and pretty. And now that leg is going to go away from us. Through center. Towards camera. In the top. Away from us for two. Through center. Towards us. Top. Away from us for three. Through center. Towards camera. Through the top, last one, coming around, through center, towards camera, to the top, and you got it, sir. That looks good. Window washers. Andres is starting with the ball right overhead, and he's going to lower it to about 45 degrees. And folks, if your back is popping up off the floor and you can't lock in that lumbar, it's too much for you and pull that ball back up towards 90 then. Do that. But Andres is strong, so he's going to keep it at 45. And then he's just, now he's going to go 45 degrees left to right where he kind of turns that, those feet in towards camera there. And that's one. And he's going to go to the other side. We'll count that as one. And then... He's going to keep on going out for two, two, and he's keeping the first four a little shallow, and this is three, three, and this is four, and four, and if you've got the range, folks, and the strength, the feet can now touch the ground for our last eight, and that's five. He just touched. He touched for five that side. Six. We're halfway, folks. Only halfway. Doing okay, Andres? Seven. Seven. Remember, eight's coming up. You can stop at eight if you want. That's eight. But we're going for strength and hypertrophy, so we're going to 12. Nine. Nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven. You okay, Andres? Yeah. One more. Twelve. Twelve. Window washers, folks. Nice job. Russian twist with an elastic band. So Andres is going to walk in and he's going to make his bench out of his body with the ball. And he's, he's going to end up right at that attachment point. So his shoulders are going to be right at that attachment point. And we want him to start with a little tension in those straps. So try it again, Andres. Walk out just a little bit more towards camera here. And we want to start out with tension in the straps. Now this is a pretty beefy band and I've got it doubled up, so it's going to be pretty hard for him. We're going to see if he can do this. There we go. That's a place to start. Right in line with that elastic band. And he's now going to roll into camera as he kind of drives with that right glute ham complex into camera. The ball rolls under his shoulders for one, two, three. And it should be a strain, folks. You want to make this thing work. Four, and that band's a beast out there, especially as it goes to its limit right there towards camera. And it's gonna play with your stability. It's gonna dork with it. You fight it. What's our number there, Mr. Andres? I need eight. Eight, four more. 
And we're producing power. We're producing strength here. Last two, right? Yep. 11, here's 12. And it allowed that band to go slack a little bit. We're going to watch the other side with that, but otherwise, good job. Now, what's he going to do? He's going to go in, and we're just going to change directions here, folks, so we can see it and always roll in towards camera. And here he goes. He walks on out. And look, notice he's holding it with the inside hand first, right? That's what you want to do. Hold it with the inside hand first. There, perfect. We have tension in the strap. That's what we want. And he's now going to roll towards camera. He's going to fight that stability. He could be a little more down on the ball where his head is resting just on it. Yep. And here's two. Three. Notice that right hip drops towards camera. That left hip drives. Four. Five, we can see him working, fighting this. Six is halfway. Seven. Eight, so when we say 12, folks, 12 should be about your limit. That's what we mean, or eight. Eight should be about your limit. He's fighting it, we're getting that core work, we're getting the whole body working here. What's your number there, Mr. Andres? 10, I think. 10, okay, two more, folks. Fight it. Again, we're only doing one set of 12 here. You can do more sets if you want. But 12 ought to be enough. Shoulder extension with elastic band. Now we're one band lighter than the last exercise. It's gonna be pretty hard here. So he's got the straps kind of pulling behind him with a little bit of tension. He's going to walk on out into his bridge, but he's going to do like a little snow angel with his arms. Nice little snow angel there. And they're right behind him. So now he's going to pull shoulder extension. He's going to pull that over. Boom. And that's going to be some strength, folks. And you dial in what band is going to work for you. And that's two... So we're working the pecs, we're working the lats, we're working the serratus anterior, we're working all this sort of stuff. And it's pulled them all over. Look at that, folks. He's getting set. He's fighting it. Well, that's four. Oh, it's almost too much. Let's pull them over. Let's try it again. Four. You got it? Oh, it's pulled them. All right, he's going to get set. That was great. So we can see how much force that is and how much what it's going to do to your ball and your body's got to stabilize it. We'll call that four, okay, Andres? All right. And here's five. And there's six. Seven. Eight. You can stop there, folks, but he's tough. He's going to 12, and you can go to 12. Nine. 10, 11, 12, and then he's going to kind of do a reverse snow angel here as he walks on back. Yeah, don't let those straps flap back there for safety. Good job. Dumbbell curl, not too fancy here but we're gonna walk on out into our hack squat. And that ball is gonna be very comfortably in that lumbar and just comfortably sitting there. The back of your arms, your triceps are gonna be against the ball as you now can do just a neutral position hammer curl. And we're just gonna do that. And pick a weight where it's gonna be kind of comfortable for you. And that's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What if we have them keep on going, folks? Keep on going. That's twelve. 
But what rep max is he right now? That's 13. When will he fail out? 14. 15. We're getting there, it looks like. Recall that. Okay, he got 15. He couldn't get 16. That's his 15 rep max, folks. So he could have gone a little heavier for his 12 reps. And that was a good demonstration of how to find uh, your limits. But 15, that's a good place to find out your 15 rep max, which he just did. And then if you want to go a little heavier, he could have gone just a teeny bit heavier for that 12th rep would have been really hard for him. And that's how you figure that out. But nice job. Dumbbell bench press. Okay, same deal, folks. We're going to walk on out into our hack squat. And there are those dumbbells again that you put out there for yourself. He's got a heavier one now, and he's going to do a one curl. He's going to go into his bridge. He's going to make his own bench. Now, he's going to externally rotate out. So his back of his arms and triceps are on the downstream side of the ball there. Look at that. Perfect place to support the back of your arms. And now he's just going to knock out our number is 12, folks. And he just kind of gets good depth, good range, and just maybe just lightly tap those dumbbells at the top. That's three, four, five, six, which is typically halfway for you folks. Seven, eight. You can stop there if you want, or go to 12, nine, 10, 11, 12, but he's going to keep on going. He's going to find out his rep max, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we know those were too light for him. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and we're going to stop him at 25. 24, because we don't have a spotter. Boom, that's it. And we can come out of that, come back to the neutral position. He's going to back on up. So he could have definitely gone heavy there, folks, where 12 should have been pretty hard for him. Nice job. One leg glute thrust. Here we go. We're going to walk on out on the ball on our belly to our knees. We're going to bend both knees. There we go. And he's going to balance on one knee, folks. One knee. And the other foot, he's just going to drive up to the ceiling, kind of driving through his heel. It's going to feel like he's driving through his heel for one. Glute thrust for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can stop there. But for the rest of you, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. He's going to switch knees. He's going to try to balance. Other knee he balances on. He gets set first and then drive up that heel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice job. Plank frog legs. We're going to roll out to our knees. And he's going right into camera so we can see his little frog legs coming out. And he's going to alternate. And he's going to pull, draw that knee right in to that elbow. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. Four, five, five, six, six. Only halfway, folks. Only halfway. Goodness. Seven, seven, eight. For you eight rep people, you're done right here. For your 12 rep people, keep on going. Nine, nine, ten. 10, 11, 11, and 12, 
12. Excellent, you frogs. Nice job. Reverse plank with a twist. So we're going to get it into our reverse plank. And Mr. Andres is going to elevate his right leg here. And we're just going to single count these folks, not a double count. So he's going to go over there. We're going to call that one. Open the camera. We're going to call that two. He's going to keep on going. Three. Four. Five. Six. And notice a dynamic on that down leg, huh? Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. You can see why we're single counting these, huh? Eleven. And twelve. That's a lot of load on that core and that down leg, and we're really opening up all those deep groin muscles and adductors, and we're working the outside AD ductors and AB ductors and all that sort of stuff. Here we go. Other leg, and we're going to be coming in towards camera. Notice that good range of motion he's got. And almost down to the floor there, isn't it? But you got to stabilize on that down leg. Two. He's coming out of here. That's three, four, five, six, and look at that down leg turned towards camera. We've got that eight, last four folks, last four, nine, 10, 11, 12. And that's about a 12 rep max, folks. That's called volitional fatigue, where your body really kind of wants to stop. And that's what we're going for in this red strength world. Good job. Plank uh, hyperextension of the lower back. So Andres is going to get in there. He's going to put his um, paws down on the floor there on his forearms. And he's going to have his feet slightly apart, and he's going to now hyperextend. And we can see that through that lower back, buttocks. And that's three, four, five, six. Let's stop it right there. Let's have put your feet together now and see if it feels any different for you folks. Now let's do it for six. It's going to be a little bit different. We notice he didn't get quite as high possibly, but now his erectors are maybe a little more biased than his glutes. So it just changes the, the uh, action on the back and that hyperextension a little bit. And it's interesting that he's pulling his head up when he puts his uh, glutes up there. They're all connected, folks. That's nice. That's our 12. Dumbbell, one arm, chest press. Folks, the dumbbell's on the floor. Trust me, try this without the dumbbell first. It's a full body exercise and it's really about that getting up on that elbow. So we're going to watch Mr. Andres come on out. And these are tough folks. And first you just want to activate that back. And he's going to try to come up on his right elbow as he drives his mythical dumbbell in his left hand up. There, he's coming up. That's what we want, folks. Let's do two. Let's try to do six of those, Andres. Uh, almost got it there for three. Four, he got that one. Five. Six. That's it, rest. It's not about the dumbbell, folks. <laughs> it's about get that action first. Now, Andres, I'm going to have you... Uh, Face the other way, okay? Because we want to see uh, your elbow work. So fast, yeah, all the way, 180. There you go. So we're going to see now his left elbow try to drive up in balance on that ball. Okay? And you want to try to get this action first, folks. And those legs are going to be helping you out. It's a full body core thing, legs. There, beautiful. One, two, 
three, four, almost got five, six, rest. So these are almost like a six or eight rep max, folks. <laughs> it takes that much strength. Okay, now turn around again. Now pick up that dumbbell, my friend. And a little lighter dumbbell. This is, you know, a good 10 pounds less than he was doing before. Um, and you don't, you're not going to need much, folks. So you're going to hold that, uh, Andres, in your left hand. And he's going to drive with the right elbow again. And again, he's going to see if he can drive up. And we're going to try to do another set of six and six, folks, either side. Here we go. It's going to be harder now. He's got more weight to drive up with that right elbow in balance. Almost got three. It's all right. Four. You got four. Oh, that's five. These are hard, folks. Six. Sweet. You got it, my friend. All right. Take a little break. He's just going to turn around so we can see his elbow driving into that stability ball, and he's balancing on that stability wall. He's driving up. So this isn't really about the bench press, folks. It's about driving that elbow up. That's where our six or eight rep max is, not the bench press. The bench press just puts more load and puts a high uh, uh, wobbly load up there on our body that our elbow has to balance. Look at that. That elbow's got to balance that 15-pound dumbbell way up there. That's the idea. It's not about the bench press. It's about core body stabilization. It's a whole body exercise. Three four, five, using the legs and glutes, folks, you bet. Last one, Andres, last one, six. Good job. Tired just looking at you. Plank toe push-ups. Folks, about my favorite exercise. We're saving the best for last. So, uh, this is really going to push about your four to six rep max, folks, or it should. So we're going to have Mr. Andres go all the way out to his toes. We're going to have him keep both feet, both feet. He's going to go on his toes, and we're just going to get keep both feet on the toes, Andres, and just give me six push-ups here. So this is how we start, folks. And are you breathing there? Not holding your breath? That's six, okay, he can step off the ball. Good, gonna shake his arms out. Okay, we wanna make sure we have that strength, folks. And if you've got that strength, then you're ready to progress. Let's do the real exercise. Now, again, we're only gonna do about six, because again, we're almost pushing the purple world where we're hitting into our, you know, one to eight rep max range. And again, so we're gonna do six. He's gonna go out to his toes again. He's gonna get balanced. Now he's gonna balance on one leg. He's gonna put out one leg away from camera. And he's gonna do six. And look at that, folks. You gotta fight that ball. Two, three, four, five. And about six is gonna be, for a lot of you, your volitional fatigue, meaning that's when you wanna stop. If you can go to eight or 12, folks, keep on going. Good for you. All right. So we're letting Andres get his own rest, and he's going to go whenever he wants to because he'll know when he's kind of set again. It's going to probably be about 20 to 40 seconds because we're really working the core, as you saw, with that back foot unstable and those push-up muscles with that little bit of the incline press there. with his body declined, huh? So now he's gonna get those feet stable. He's gonna launch it. Here we go, folks. Last six of the day. Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Andres. Thank you so much for helping us out today. Excellent job, my friend. Of course, thank you. Good work.